Good day and welcome to our Experts in Industry series. I'm David Poirier, the CEO of the Poirier Group. Today we're joined by Caroline Papadatos, the former Senior Vice President of Loyalty and Marketing Leader at Loyalty One. Caroline has experienced sales and marketing executive. She's recognized as a leading expert in designing transformative customer loyalty solutions for global companies. She has held leadership positions in diverse sectors, including retail, telecom, and publishing. Caroline is a frequent speaker and advisor on loyalty and customer management. The last six months have certainly changed things for a lot of businesses, and we've heard uh, many different perspectives uh, on that. But how does loyalty change for program operators uh, as a result of, of COVID-19? And how is it going to change uh, as we evolve out of this, whenever that may be? You know, some programs did very well in responding to COVID, although it took some a few weeks and others a few months to figure out what the new normal was. I do think that brands just generally needed a few weeks to recalibrate, some, some faster than others. But programs like Starbucks really dialed up their click and collect and touchless payment. They, they were fast out of the gate. I think airline and hotel programs figured out they needed to extend status. They quickly did the math um, and extending status for, you know, certainly for your highest value members is critical. Um, and they also changed their redemption focus from flight to merchandise. Beyond that, I'd say some programs took advantage of the fact that uh, loyalty gave them direct communication channels to customers and they used those less to reward customers, so points communications, and more to let customers know their safety plans. In terms of what's going to happen going forward with COVID, I'd say commercially, I think the biggest change is that operators, especially grocers, they're going to have to move their operations online in a significant way. At the end of the day, good loyalty programs have always been designed to read the data, gather insights about customers and deliver relevant products and individualized messaging. I don't think any of that is going to change. I think what will probably happen is COVID will accentuate the the difference between the winners and the losers in loyalty and those who use their programs effectively to personalize and individualize are going to be the winners. I, I've heard a lot of questions about, you know, what is the value of uh, loyalty programs? And to simplify it, how should you measure loyalty program success? If I were an operator, I'd ask myself four questions. Did I get more customers as a result of my loyalty program? Um, did they spend more? Was I able to lift their spend either in basket size or in frequency? Uh, did they stay longer? So reducing my churn problem. Uh, and finally, I'd say from a cost optimization perspective, is loyalty more effective than other investments? I think if you ask yourself those four questions, rather than trying to prescribe a specific way to measure it, um, that's probably the best way to assess whether it's working for you. Well, I'd, I'd start with grocery. Grocery is sort of the, the, uh, one of the favorites for loyalty operators for a number of reasons. One is they have high customer penetration. So a good grocery program will have 60 to 90% customer penetration, which ultimately means a lot of data. And that data, when used uh, in a disciplined way to drive personalization, both of product and communications, uh, when that data is used predictively, uh, to anticipate what that customer's next going to buy or next going to need in terms of services. Um, grocers continue to do that very well, usually supported by a, a loyalty infrastructure. So I'd say grocery does it very well and it's because of that penetration, that highly predictive data and then the use of analytic modeling and now AI. Loyalty needs to be used as a very strategic tactic. It's not something that you offer throughout the customer journey. You need to look for places where you can drive a profitable jump in behavior by incentivizing, motivating that customer 